Hello everyone, and I hope you all had a great Happy New Year, and welcome back. So, in this video today, I'll be starting my very first React video, and this will also start the React playlist. So, in this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up React and Node onto your system, so that you can get everything up and running. So, let's get started. So, first off, when using React, you first need to have Node, so you can go to the nodejs.org website, to their official website and click on download it doesn't really matter which one you choose you can choose either one right or left but most people choose latest features because that's going to come with the latest features and provide you with everything you need to get started so now you just have to check to see if you have node installed on your system so to do that you can just go to your command prompt and type node dash v and that should come up with a version number and for mine i got version 17.3.0 so as you can see I got the latest version. So I got that installed and out of the way, so we're good to go. And next up, we have to install the React library onto Visual Studio Code if that's what you're using as your coding editor. If you're using something else, then I'm not really sure how to help you since I've been using Visual Studio Code ever since I've started coding. So you could try and go watching another YouTube tutorial video and they might explain how that would work. Anyways, next up you just have to install React onto your system and once you've gotten that, you're good to go. So let's jump onto Visual Studio Code. So just ignore all these files and folders that I have going on here on the sidebar. So what you want to do to create your React application is click on Terminal, click on New Terminal and then do NPX. Well first, you have to create a folder so you can go here. I can just create one called React YouTube Tutorial. That's what I'll call it since this is a YouTube tutorial. So I got that folder created and now I want to do npx create react app and then the name of the folder which is react YouTube tutorial. So now just hit enter and wait for all this to run behind the scene and you should be good to go. So as you can see it's installing a few packages like react, react dom, react scripts and other dependencies that you'll need for your react application and this might take a couple of minutes so I'll be back with you guys once this has finished loading. Alright guys, welcome back. So our React app has finished loading all of the dependencies and all the necessary packages we'll need. So let's go into that folder we created and go inspect inside of it. And as you can see, we have a node modules folder, which has all of these, has a bunch of files that I've never used before. So don't worry about that. Just ignore all of that. The most important thing that you need to worry about is just the source folder and the public folder, which has the logo, the React logo and the app.js, which is like your key component for all this to work. So now let's see how this would look on the browser. To do that, you just have to go to your terminal, CD into that folder that you created. So CD just means change directory. So just do, just change your directory to React YouTube tutorial or whatever you name your folder. And now we just do npm start. And as you can see, that's the direction that Visual Studio Code gave us right here. Now that's gonna run this on browser. So there we go. We have it on localhost 3002 because I think I may have apparently had like two other React websites that's being launched on another window. Anyways, there we go. We have the spinning logo and this text right here and this link, which takes us to the React.js official website. So that's basically the boilerplate code that React provides us, but that's not what we want. We want to be able to start coding and building our own fun little application. So I'll be showing you guys how to do that in future tutorials. Anyways, if you guys found this helpful, please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And if you need anything, let me know in the comments below. Other than that, have a great day and I will see you all in the next video.